Welcome to Monday Night Mediterranean Madness. Here on the Pup of Age of Empires 4, we have eight players, eight contestants facing off from the Fitzbro community, and they have randomly drawn civilizations, no duplicates, and no China because they get too many landmarks for free for all. Anyways, and it sure does be interesting because what map are we on? The Mediterranean. Look at that spawn, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, a little bit skewed to the northeastern side of the map. You can always guarantee you one thing on these eight players and free for alls is probably not going to be fair, and that is part of the game. Let's introduce your players down on the southwest corner in the color blue. We've got Pinky Doodle playing as the Roos, a very good civilization. They've got some buffs on water lately, and uh, they get that bounty, of course, on a large map like this. They should be able to get easily that 500 bounty, I would think. But that's what we're going to be seeing here. Let's move on over to the next player here. Who do we have? We've got to end the color pink. Another repeat player. We've seen him in several of our free-for-alls. It is Victor playing as the Holy Roman Emperor. His neighbor to the northeast, faithful mod of the Fitzpro community on Twitch. We have Irish Reaper Man playing as the Ottomans, one of our newest civilizations. Will we see a grand galley today? He's not on the water quite yet. Perhaps we will. Let's keep on moving to the north. We've got in the color orange playing as the French Dratelus. And he is also, I believe, played in one of our other free-for-alls. Going for their sheep, not on water. I don't know if anyone's gone for water yet. Keep it on, moving up. We've got to the north of him, another classic civilization, playing as the yellow English. It is Luminous. His neighbor to the northwest, we've got an early favorite of uh, of my stream. We've got the Delhi Sultanate, the purple Delhi Sultanate. It is Rocco Spanatore, hailing from the uh, from Italy, down on the, the southern tip. He's, he's on the boot. He's on the boot. Uh, into the south, uh, a player whose name perhaps was chosen for him. Maybe he he's, he actively decided, but he's chosen update playing as the teal we've got him updated as the abbasid dynasty always a good choice of course you do have one landmark in addition to your town center but it gets more hp that house of wisdom and our last but not least to the south we've got royal playing as the malians of course one of our newest civilizations you can see that beautiful pit mine extracting that gold already and let's see who will be the conqueror here on monday night mediterranean madness okay pinky doodle moving on out with eight villagers where is he going of course for that huntable boar gonna be working on that bounty system he's already at 360 bounty that boar will give him some additional Boom, look at him there. 445 bounty. I told you, these large maps, 500 bounty is very achievable for the Roos. So a little close, though, to Victor to the east. Let's see if Victor... Victor on the water. Is he the only one on the water? Looks like it right now. We've got the HRE out on the water. Of course, we've got plenty of deep water fish out here in the sea. That is the fastest gather rate in the game. Look at it. Skies are clear blue skies today. The wind's out of the southeast. A few knots. Uh, good for sailing. Good for sailing. You know what they say. Uh, red at night, sailors delight. Red at morning, sailors take warning. Something like that. I don't know. I grew up. My dad was a power boater. What do I know about sailing? Hey, I do have my sailing merit badge. I went to Boy Scout camp. You know. Flex, flex, I got my sail, I got got my skiing merit badge, that one was hard, you had to slalom ski for like, be up for like an entire minute, that's when you're on one ski, rather tricky. Okay, Royal going up with the Monza Quarry, no trading or any funny business like that, we saw Adney do uh, water, uh, do trading early on with the, with the Valiants in his free-for-all on this map. And we've got going for some stone, so I'm assuming this is going to be a second town center game. Now, I will bring you back to resources to you in due time. They just take up a lot of real estate right now. Someday we'll get a, a cool little, like, news ticker that kind of just slowly brings you everyone's resources. It'll be like the news. That fake news media. We got update playing as the teal with the absolute going up with the economic wing. Always a good choice. Purple up here going up with the dome of faith. No tower of victory for him today. He doesn't believe. Surprised not to be on the water. Players don't understand the power of the water. Victor 
going with the uh, council hall. Now, I don't hate the English ignoring water because if they get all their farming set up, they're basically set for their gold generation. If they go super late in some of these free for alls, they can go quite long. Dreadloose. Uh, he's getting stone as well. It feels like everyone's just going for multiple towns in there. Is there playing it safe? Uh, Royal actually going. Interesting choice. He went with the Minaret and Madras. Now, I would have chosen the, uh, the Sultani because. Passive gold generation late in the game is going to be way more valuable than these berries. Like, these berries are going to run out. Now, he does have some food locked down, but um, opening up with the military school, is he harassing someone already? Let's go to his uh, perspective as he's red. I, uh, this is Irish Rupa, man. He's already harassing. Now, the funny thing is, I think the roosts are like right here gathering boar, aren't they? Or is it? It's over here. Yeah, the maps are quite big. Quite big. You might think you're next to someone. Okay, so Victor having quite the boom there on water right now. Look at all his fishing boats. He only one paying attention to water. I would say Victor has the early lead here in this free-for-all. Let's look at those current resources as players are reaching the second age. Kind of see what we have going on. Victor still in age one. Pinky Doodle still in age one. Of course, he did go for that early boar there. Now, looking at this map, I would say compared to previous meta returning spawns I've seen, it's rather fair. Now, the players to the south definitely have more land, but... They're kind of squeezed in here. This actually almost gives you like a more defendable location in, in a way. But, uh, you know, these Mediterranean games, this is a, a random seed. It is what you get. I have some dreams of maybe having a symmetrical circle in the middle and then maybe putting mountains on the corner. So it's like completely symmetrical all the way around for these. But uh, maybe another day, maybe another day. Prediction is up. Okay, so Fireman did put the prediction up. And uh, it looks like uh, the, the, the prediction is going to be, will Victor win? Is that the prediction? I think that might be it. It's typically we vote on the victors in these. Somebody will be the victor, that's for sure. Okay, so no action here. Sometimes it's easier to look at the uh, their, their line of sight. We do have some uh, sightings there in the water, that early spearman that uh, Air Shootman had. Not doing a whole lot now. I think Irish Reaper Man opened up with the military school thinking he was going to take out a dock. But the thing to realize, guys, docks have 2,000 HP right now in the pup. Now, hopefully this changes in future patches. I think it's too much, honestly. But Spearman, basically, they're, they're just not going to kill it. It's got too much HP. Somebody put 5k on Victor. You know, Victor does have a track record of success in these free-for-alls. So uh, it's a good way to, to spend your bison. But we've got Dreadloose already down here raiding... Uh, on Irish Rupu Man, as the Spearmen are out away playing uh, at the HRE dock. But it looks like he does have some Spearmen, so he's not caught with his pants down. He's ready. Let's keep moving on up the shoreline, see who else we can see. Good yellow up here. <laughs> That's one way to defend your dock. I'm not sure if that Palisade is going to do a whole lot, as the, the, the fire might come from the sea. But, you know, what's a pirate's favorite letter, Chad? Do you guys know what is a pirate's favorite letter? Anybody? Anybody? I'm seeing. We'll wait to see. I see an R. I see an R. No C. You think it's the R, but it's really the C. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Of course, a pirate's favorite letter is the C. How could you mess that up? Rocco. Two barracks making some spearmen. <laughs> Invading his French neighbor, I think is what he's doing. Let's look at his perspective there. Oh, he's building walls with his spearmen. That's what he's doing. Yes, pirates may love the R, but their true love is the sea. Particularly the Mediterranean Sea. I've seen the Mediterranean Sea. I've actually, I've, uh, I went over, I went to Italy uh, once for my honeymoon. So I've hung out next to the Mediterranean Sea. Pretty cool. Okay, Rocco building up these walls down here. We've got Teal with the update. Playing as the opposite multiple town centers in a 1 1 1 composition. He's got a barracks, archery range, and a stable. Now, I'll give you guys some tips here as far as these free for alls are going to go. You do not want to be the very first person to set down a wonder. Why is that? Well, when you got eight players and they all want to win, if you build a one or two early, they are all going to come after you. You've got to very sneakily decide when to drop that. Hopefully after a few players have been eliminated. Now, 
Another thing you want to do when you're playing in a free-for-all, you want to spread your landmarks out, and Victor is doing precisely that. He has built his Ragnarok Cathedral right in the corner of the map, so quite a far away from his town center, but this could buy him some valuable time. This could come back to haunt later on. Someone might not even find that. If you know, they're on the north side of the map, there's no way Purple's going to spot that. I mean, that's how much he scouted so far. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Orange over here on the east side. He's got multiple towns here. I think everybody's on multiple towns here by now with Perhaps maybe the Ottomans being the exception here, but he's going up for a fast castle the Stimbo Imperial Palace Royal reaching the castle age now, of course, let's take a little look at those Ottomans here, Irish Reaper man We've got the Vizier system, so uh, you get points every time you train a unit and the more expensive units give you more points every time you advance an age as well. So you'll see a job jump up here in a second. And you can spend them on some of these uh, these Vizier uh, points upgrades. I don't know what you call them. But essentially most of them help the military school. They're probably the best use of these right now. Um, and this one makes it so that you get even more experience for each of those trained units. So Irish Reaper Man just now joining us in the third age. Let's take a look at those current resources. You can see what is going on. And there's always a junkie out there that absolutely loves to see in cover minute and there it is now i would expect victor playing as the hre maybe gonna come back later on now if i'm not mistaken i think victor played hre in the very last free-for-all game that i casted so uh clearly really uh really comfortable with that sift now what i do is i roll the number i roll dice and we do everybody player gets a random draw and then they get to pick the sieve they want so uh, that's kind of how we got here i like to have variety here so some players might be playing sieves they're not very comfortable with and that's just the way of the game here on uh, monday night to mediterranean madness okay so we've got a little bit of wall down there for pinky doodle a knight coming out for the hre I see anything going on in purple and green up to the top. They're just kind of walling each other off. Purple seems to really have his corner locked down for right now. Orange, far away from home, looking to raid purple, but not going to be able to get through the wall that I can see here. Now, Victor, I told you, a favored player. He has done, been very successful in past free-for-alls, looking to maybe get a win here today. He's the only one with a really significant water boom. Now, Yellow has also done a water boom, so Luminous actually has a pretty good one. I like this little, uh, this is a nice city building, best sitting building. Look at this, he's got walls around a dock. He's even got a gate between the two docks, but not out. There you go. <laughs> We got update down here, doing some long distance tree chopping. He's got one, two, three town centers, I think. Yes, an abbot, three town centers. Those are half price with the fresh food stuffs. No trading yet out of the Malians. Now he is in the corner. He could set up a trade route like here to here, and it wouldn't be too bad with those uh, with the the toll outpost. But what do we have here? It is. The Muvu making an appearance here at this Monday Night Mediterranean Madness free for all. We've got a Muvu. This makes it so that you get additional food per minute for each of your cows that are garrisoned inside of your livestock pen. Cattle ranch, rather, I can't ever name it the right thing. And you can make a total of 20 cows. He has one, two, three, four, five, six of these pens. Seven's the right number if you want to max them out. There'll be one spot missing. And there we go. Royal looking like have a nice boom there. Got a monster quarry, of course, and I'm assuming also has the gold pit set up. Uh, pit mines. Somewhere out here. Who knows where it is, but I'm sure he's got them. Well, let's look at his perspective. Let's make sure. That would be quite the oversight if he doesn't have them. One there. One there. Okay, he's doing good. He can get a third one. He should go find that. Put a third one down. <clears throat> okay, so set himself, himself up for success into the late game. <clears throat> Excuse me as I clear my throat. And we've got to keep going up for Royal. So playing the defensive game right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pinky Doodle has spotted this landmark and has walled it in. But it looks like they broke through. Hold on a second. But blue, it's kind of weird. Blue has walled pink in. That's one way to do it. Palace of Swabby going up. Now this landmark, S plus tier. It is a tier all in itself. It, it basically prints villagers out super, super rapidly. Look at this. 17 food in six seconds. You get a villager palace of Swabia. Absolutely wild. So one thing to note here, we got a free for all going on. Now you might expect, well, could players team up? Could they have an, form a secret alliance? And perhaps something like that could happen in chat. Now Pup has kind of a glitchy chat. So sometimes players don't see anything at all, but you got to realize 
the person you might be uh, allying with could could backstab you and it has their own motive because there's, there's only one winner uh, after all the dust settles. So uh, you got to be careful. Choose your alliances very, very wisely if you do them at all. English went up with the King's Palace. Let's take a look at his income for a minute there. Pinky Doodle has a lot of food coming in. Of course, he's got that full bounty there as the roost. We looked at that earlier on. We'll really keep an eye on that, that gold counts as we get later in the game. Of course, Malian's having a nice gold trickle as well as the HRE. And you always want to keep an eye out to see like who's going to get a wonder. Who might be going for the wonder? Okay, so right now we have yellow out on the sea. We've got pink out on the sea. Red starting to make some docks. Yeah, I don't know. This player players have just ignored it all together. On a map like Mediterranean, I don't know if they're just not used to playing Mediterranean, but or it's just part of their tactic is to not go in the water. Like maybe it's a bit of a trap. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, every player's kind of got their own techniques for winning these free for all games. Water trade is so amazing. That is absolutely true. Um, it looks like Rocco is getting some upgrades for his military. Now, one thing to, to realize, you might think you're nice and safe. You're purple. You're in the northern end. You've got stone walls on your side. You're good. Who can hurt you? Well, the HRE could come sailing across in a transport ship and bam, land on your coast and snipe all of your landmarks that you've built pretty close together here. So, uh, we will see if that happens here later in this game. Green currently engaging with pink. We got keeps keep on keep action. Looks like he was trying to build a pit mine with houses here, but that's going to be denied at least for now by that keep. So we'll likely see more action as this heats up. The question always being, who will be the very first player to be eliminated? I don't really know right now. There's not any really intense fighting. Sometimes you can just get unlucky and get squeezed. Irish Reaperman has stonewalled up. He's building his landmarks. Istanbul Observatory acts as a university as well. HRE has a fair amount of relics. One, two relics there. Three, four, five relics. So that's a lot of gold per minute. That's a thousand gold per minute for the for the HRE. Wow. Let's look at that. Look at the income per minute. For Victor. Okay, so um Oh, sacred sites. We got two sacred sites on this map. One here and one here. Of course it's a deli, you'd hope to get those, but probably not going to since Delhi is purple right now but they are spread out it takes 10 minutes to win a sacred side victory where it takes 15 minutes to win a wonder victory okay we've got royal right now train up all those villagers there as the Malians. oh my gosh look at this boom and a trebuchet is he about to invade his neighbors no walls to the south uh, update looking to hit the abyssid building the rams camels camels spears and rams i like this composition Let's see what we can do with it. He's got some archers, too. Probably going to go after this. Green is about to get pushed. It looks like a bit of engagement between uh, Pink. Wait, Pink is w <laughs> way down here. Like, what? I'm trying to see what he's. What he can see. Victor's just chilling. But it looks like he's about to backstab somebody. Yeah, Blue's, like, moving to the north, and he can see that. Uh, making the Streltsy. Oh, man, there's Donzo... Sh Throwing off their spear. Man arms on the front line. Blue should have this fight, but pink could cause problems while he is away. And a lot of times with these free-for-alls, you've got players will try to attack their neighbors first. Because you can clear off some space, it makes you a little bit safer. So often we do see uh, each of the players kind of attacking the one next to him. It'd be really weird for blue just to go straight across for purple right now or something. And some players just choose neutrality. They just boom bank resources and chill in their base. Uh, kind of like Purple's doing right now. He's not really attacking anyone. He's just kind of taking it easy in his base. Yellow as well. Not really any engagements, just walling up. Orange and red engaging. Not really yet. Does Orange have any military? He has some military, but more defensively. I think he was doing some raiding early on. Uh, red stonewalling up. So right now, our biggest engagement right now appears to be between green and blue, and Teal looking to perhaps squeeze green. Green could be caught here in a knuckle sandwich between both shades of blue. Maybe all of the shades of blue have ganged up on the superior green color here on the map. We've got the roost down to the south uh, currently uh, pushing the Malians back. Let's see if Teal attacks anytime soon. It looks like he's just kind of grouping up. The Rams kind of indicated to me that he's looking to push but uh, now they are moving. Perhaps he's going for this. Now, Ram's got a little bit of a buff uh, in this most recent patch here on the pup uh, versus wall, particularly in range. They got additional range. 
But, uh... Oh no, I, I think he's gonna have to be able to take this and when blue attack and distract him to the south, uh, I guess the only thing that could really change this would be if perhaps pink ran in and distracted blue and blue pulled back. Uh, purple seems pretty content right now. Okay, we've got the Great Blue Alliance. Someone's about to have the blues and I think it's going to be royal as he's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. But playing as the Malians, he does have coverings. I think if he had walls, he could stand a chance at defending this. He's kind of got to play a tower, uh, like a, 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 a tower defender right now, but in come the Abbasid, and he's got nothing to deal with this. Green's got lava troops down to the south, been distracted by blue. Kind of uh, involved on two fronts right now, and this is the danger of these free falls. This can just happen organically, where you can end up, you know, they don't know, they just act, end up just both attacking at the same time, and it's just unlucky. But also, you gotta be aware of this. Like, there's players on both sides of you. This could happen at any time, which is part of why people go for the first strike. They try to take out their neighbor, so it's less likely uh, to get caught in this difficult position. Oh my gosh, this trebuchet is wigging out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it go. Oh, let's get back into the game. But Teal, mopping up these forces. We have some of those missile body gunner there for Royal, that unique gunpowder unit for Green. See if purple's moving in. Sometimes you can get lucky and like maybe purple attacks right now and then teal turns around. But that's not the case right now. Pink is booming. Blue. Uh, it looks like he's making a bunch of rams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rams. And the roost, they've got a ram upgrade. Does he have it? Where is it? Uh, right here. I think he already got it. No, he doesn't have it yet. The Wandering Town. Rams damage increased by 100%. So he really should get this, one, this upgrade if he's going for all these rams. And maybe he will in a bit here. Um, but right now, uh, the Royal Somalians looking to be in some big, big trouble. I don't know. If I was between Delhi and Malians, I think I would attack Malians first. I think they're a little scarier into the late game than Delhi is. As far as blue being between Malians and HRE, that would be really scary. So he's just trying to take anyone out he can. Doesn't want to piss off his uh, HRE neighbor. Oh, and like that, F's in chat, everyone, at the 21-minute mark. Royal is eliminated from Monday Night Mediterranean Madness. Thanks for playing. Have a good evening. And then there were seven. Salute, men. Green is out. The two blues remain. Will Teal uh, surge up to his jelly neighbors to the north side? We'll have to see. Now, sometimes you see players actually opt for the Stonewall Towers, but not here. There's, there's no rules in the FFA. Now, what is going on here? Oh, my gosh. Our beloved moderator, Irish Superman, is being ravaged by his HRE invader. Victor has it out for him. Does Irish Superman have what it takes to stay in this game currently? I don't see any military. Uh-oh. And Pink's moving with Bombards. Oh, no. Irish Superman might be facing... An early demise here, as currently the HRE taking no mercy, continuing to siege everything he's got there. What's Orange up to? Not a whole lot. And for Pink, I, I would think maybe he will target Blue next once this is over. We might have the great uh, HRE Rus War. But Irish Superman is probably not going to survive the night here. Now, if he spread his landmarks out, maybe snuck one up here. Could buy him some time. By the way, Victor with the Carrick's out on the water. No water uh, no water engagements yet, though. I haven't seen any battles in the water. It looks like maybe there's something, because this has a little bit of damage, but largely it hasn't been done. And just like that, at the 23-minute mark, just minutes after our previous player, Irish Reaper Man, is eliminated from Monday Night Mediterranean Madness. F's in chat for our faithful moderator. He may be out here, but he's got a strong green sword in Twitch chat. Okay, and very quickly, there are six. Six remaining. A lot of action, and this is early. For a free-for-all, this is early. Two players already eliminated. And now let's take a look at the income per minute of each of them. As you can see here, English, tons of food, tons of wood, tons of gold. Holy cow. I mean, you know the English. They're a great late-game sieve. Uh, we see Victor's gold uh, the, uh, income is a notable for sure, but I mean, English is just blowing me away here, what we're seeing. Let's look at that bank to see what people currently have in the bank. English, tons. He's avoided these wars, so he's been able to stuff his pockets back at home. Now... Like I've mentioned, some player might go for a wander, and while Victor has what he needs for a wander, if he builds one right now, he could find himself in some trouble, as many of the, the other forces could ally against him. 
Moving on back home, just make sure he doesn't get landmark sniped. I really like how he spread out his landmark, put one in the corner. It's a good thing to do with these free for alls. Mediterranean, kind of hard one to spread out your landmarks, since it is a circle with a lake in the middle. But, uh, you know, he's done the best he can. Who will engage next? Let's take a look at the perspective of these players. Pinky Doodle has eyes on the HRE, and that's just about it right now. I wonder if he will, uh, will try to come down here and do something with it. He has a bunch of rams, so thinking he might. There is a... a, a a Ragnitz he could easily take out down there to the south. He knows that. And he has to know Victor's track record. Oh! Explosion! The Rams are gone! They suicided themselves just like... Uh, just like... Uh, what's What was his name? Uh, I can't remember. Trying to make a joke. There we go. We got uh, more wooden fortresses going up. Oh, it's Jeffrey Epstein. Yes, suicided himself. Maybe. Okay, we got update. Let's see what he's doing. Up to the north, we've got uh, Teal. Oh, starting to invade the Delhi neighbors. Okay. The draft is cruel. Yes, the draft is cruel. FFA is never fair, that's for sure. You can always count on it being unpredictable. You can predict about it being unpredictable. Okay, so Rocco is just kind of chilling. He's uh, towering up. Just trying to be a strong Delhi Sultanate with control of his corner of the map to the north. We've got Teal, the Abbasid Dynasty, here in the middle. It is going to be quite the dynasty as he can spread his lands out to the south. Blue certainly going to be engaging with Pink, and that's what we're seeing right now. Elite Knights charging on in uh, along with some cannons. That keep is in some big trouble, and Pinky Doodle is going to need an army if he's going to hold off this HRE neighbor. We kind of expected this would happen, but Streltsy inside going to be engaging. He's got a lot of them. The Streltsy, uh, one of the uh, one of the best gunpowder, I think the best gunpowder you get in the game. Going to be shredding, but those are horsemen. Those aren't knights. Trebuchet is on the back line. He may have lost a keep, but he is, he, he lost the battle, but he won that war, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see what happens with this Bombard. Moving on back, trying to get out of there. Oh, this one. He doesn't have any melee really on this. He does have some spearmen. There we go, some spearmen moving up. Okay, so we do have the Great Rus HRE War. You know, this is going to be a good one. Let's look at the current resources. Look at the banks of these two players. So we're looking at pink and blue. Victor, 12k food, 8k gold. Pinky Doodle, 4k food, 1.2k gold. I would say Victor has the larger bank. Uh, but so for pink, he needs to make favorable trades because uh, a sustained drawn out war from pink could leave him quite poor. Right now, Victor's flooding units in. Not really migrating a ton, though. Pinky has been able to take out a lot of those advancing. But where are his reinforcements? He needs to have more archery ranges and be reinforcing these as fast as he's losing them. He currently is not. Uh, Pinky does have... Look at that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Victor. It's confusing. Pinky isn't pink. Pinky is fighting pink. I think we should have to give give Pinky pink, right? That should be in the rule book. We'll have to update the rule book. There's no rules right now. The one rule. Pinky always gets pink. Let the Pinky win. Let the Pinky pink. Okay, update is uh, given as an update to the north as he moves in that ram, looking menacing, but uh, it will do bonus damage against those walls. Currently, uh, taking out the Delhi army of hand cannoneers. Archer is going to trade quite efficiently against this. Let's watch these rams as it targets his walls. I, I thought it would here in a second. It does that bonus damage. I really wanted to see it. It is 400 damage for a hit to the wall. Currently just going to chill, though. Not attacking yet. And blue, uh, <laughs> building a keep right on top of that Regis Cathedral. Going to grab those relics. A nice little move there for Pinky. Chad has called me out on my on my my misspeak. I have I have misrepresented the rule book. Yes, there's no there are rules already. Uh, the one rule is no China and no spoilers. So I guess our third rule would be Pinky always gets pink. Okay, so Victor taking out that Rus army. Uh, he might lose his regnants, but he's moving to defend it. Going to take that keep out with his bombards. There's nothing's really there to defend it. I'm really afraid Pinky's not going to be able to win the long game here. Teal seems to be uh, preoccupied with purple to the north as we see him uh, moving in. Look at the ram doing a lot of damage to that. Let's check in on the east side as we haven't seen a whole lot of action over here. Yellow and purple kind of firing trade. 
uh, trading static fire, but not a whole, not a meaningful, meaningful fight. Orange and yellow, though, have been engaged, and we've probably missed a little bit of the action, but it's okay. Let's see what they are up to here. Uh, we've got French with the red keeper in the middle of the base. Yellow, uh, English starting to move forward. Some C. Uh, well, does he have any siege? I don't see any trebuch but some trebuchets there. Uh, so the French. Uh, English war is raging on here, so I think that's going to continue. I don't expect to see purple get involved here. I think purple and teal are kind of fixing each other. So it's kind of like 2v2v2. Two v two v two. It's kind of... or We got these, like, three different fights going on. Which I love to see. No one really teaming up right now. They took out their in-betweens, I guess. Purple's still hanging on, though, I guess. Could be squeezed by yellow and teal. Okay, so pink uh, is able to secure his Regnus Cathedral there. And uh, some of the horse archers, but that's not going to be enough. What is he sieging there? Oh, taking out some of the military production of the HRE. I like it, but lots of stables. He's got plenty of military production behind this. Look at those current resources. You can see that. Uh, Victor, 10k gold. Holy God, that's a lot of resources for him. Pinky, about around 3k of each of those. Th Thank you so much for that follow over there on Twitch series for life. Yellow and purple. Let's see what's going on with them. Oh, they're not fighting. It's, it's yellow and orange. Flaming arrows coming out. Let's decrease that uh, panel. Tree clips. Thanks for the follow. And uh, it kind of looks like the French is making some progress into... Uh, or English is making some progress into the French base. We do some trading actually set up for the French. Oh, he's going from here to the corner. A nice little move. I like that. How much gold is he bringing back to these traders? 33 gold. Not a ton, but every bit counts. Especially in the late game. I uh, mean, if you put stocks into Victor win this game, he's, sh he's showing us some great strength early on, but Pinky Doodle is definitely putting up quite a fight. We see this bomb mode's probably going to get wiped out by the Spearmen that are moving forward. This trebuchet might not survive this fight, though, as we get knights right up on it. Boom, there they go. Okay, the Delhi Abbasid War. The Battle of the Berry Slivs. Oh, huge Manganel Volley. Delhi holding on here right now, trying to build some rand in the back line for the Abbasid. It's kind of drawing the line in the sand. A landmark has been destroyed. Destroyed Victor's landmark. So Victor lost... Oh, you know what it was? It was this. Yes, he took down that Regnus Cathedral. So Pinky uh, really holding his own here against a very formidable uh, and I would say richer HRE opponent. So I think we need to win this like early on because the bank, like I said, can really uh, help Victor survive in the late game. Now, Victor went with the strategy to put his regulars in the south, but there's also less vulnerable now because it was an easy uh, landmark for him to pick up since he wasn't able to secure it. Uh, these horsemen could easily kill all the siege, by the way. If he turns around pulls these horsemen back, a little micro here would go a long way. These horsemen could wipe out all the siege, but he has not yet noticed it yet. He has knights charging in, though. There we go. One, two, three mangonels going to be wiped out. And Pinky charging forward. The victor voters are, tr are trembling with very <laughs> vicious... <laughs> He's trying to do all the Vs. I don't know. Almost got it. Give me your best uh, Victor poetry in the chat. Okay. Horsemen moving forward. On both sides for that. Uh, lead horseman. Uh, it does look like actually Blue has his additional upgrades. I don't think... He doesn't have biology yet. Victor doesn't have biology. Where Where's his university? Oh my gosh. There it is. But he does... Wait, does he have it? He does. Hey, what is he missing then? Is he missing his... Oh my gosh, he's missing his blacks... Where's his blacksmith? I think he's missing his blacksmith upgrades. Oh my gosh, Victor. How could you be missing your blacksmith upgrades? You're, you are rich right now, but no... Uh, no blacksmith upgrades. We see hashtag Victor for the victory. Victoria's secret. Victor's secret. Oh man, a new line of lingerie coming to Age of Empires fans everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Got to put that links in the description <laughs> to Victor's secret. <laughs> okay, Victor, his secret right now is raid the villagers. And look at this. A lot of siege up for grabs. Five trebuchets could be wiped out by these horsemen. Let's check in on the other battles as it seems like Victor is gaining some ground back there. Back and forth, though. It looks like the Delhi Sultanate is actually gaining on the Abbasid Dynasty with a largely hand cannoneer army. Oh my gosh, look at all these scholars. He's doing the dirty, using all those healing, and slowly making progress at the Abbasid Dynasty. And when you're in the Abbasid, 
You know you got some trouble because these are your only landmarks. There's no running. The player, your opponents know exactly where to push to. Let's see if Purple has scouted that far. Well, he maybe doesn't know, but he, he has a suspicion. He knows about where it is. Okay. Meanwhile, yellow and purple. It looks like uh, yellow got fed up with his keeps and sieged them down, but has not advanced. I think he's busy with his war to the south, but perhaps his distraction to the north has allowed the French to hang on in this French-English war. We see those knights uh, moving forward right now. Going to be taking out those longbows, also going for some of his villagers. Now, as these resources start to run out, the natural resources in each player's base, you'll see players become a little more desperate. These trades are going to really matter. Here's that bank once again. A look at Luminous. He's got bank for days. Will anyone make the fatal mistake of making too early of a wonder is what I always, always wonder. Because you, you typically get wiped out pretty quickly if you put a landmark, if you put a wonder down. I think this pink-purple war is, is most exciting for me right now, although Delhi also very interesting to the Northwest. Okay, right now we've got Streltsy versus Horsemen. Maybe some Spearmen would be a better... Well, those are knights, some knights in there, but mostly Horsemen. Some Spearmen might be better trades against this, since he is going with a lot of cav... Uh-oh! Oh man, this will be devastating to the Streltsy if he can get those in range. Let's keep an eye on this. A big volley from this Manganel. It's not even going to matter. He's going to take out the Streltsy before the Manganel even get there. Getting ready to drop that firepower. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so Pinky Doodle. It's a little bit of trouble. He needs a pinky, pinky scramble out of town. Okay, Archer is also a good option when you're up against Streltsy. They're going to trade a little bit more effectively. I wouldn't keep making Streltsy in this situation. I think he needs to get some, uh, maybe some more horsemen. I mean, you know me, horsemen, spearmen, still death. That's what you can just keep doing. Okay, so Pinky getting a little bit of ground. So we do see the horsemen running in. With, uh, maybe some knights, rather. Trebuchet is pretending they're mangonels, and he should be able to hold this fight. Teal and purple facing off to the north side. It looks like the opposite dynasty has fought back. Look at those beautiful golden camels. Wow. Isn't that the sexiest unit in the entire game? Update. Yeah, you can update anytime. Look at those. Okay, so as far as the free-for-alls I have witnessed, there's been a lot of action and a lot of battles on multiple fronts. So enjoying this. But the Abbasid pushing into the Delhi Sultanate base. English still uncontested back at home. He is pushed into the French territory. There is the Red Keep, though, the Red Palace, rather, which will uh, stand before, between him and the French economy. So the trebuchet is moving in, and the English, they got some of the best trebuchets in the game. Okay, pink. Grabbing some gold there. Blue. Eh, seems to kind of be out of gold. He has this gold on the front line. But pushing back the horseman. There's been a lot of back and forth here between blue and pink so far. But there's our stalemates in there while the mangonels are hitting him. Eh, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about pinky. Let's look at those resources. Oh, man. Pinky is getting poor, guys. He's getting desperate. Pinky's gonna, or uh, Victor's gonna outlast him just because he has so many resources. You gotta play the long game in a free for all, and you can't just yeet units away unless you're gonna take a landmark out or something. And that's probably not gonna happen for some time. Although we do see the keep being canceled by the HRE. Orange and yellow, oh, orange getting sieged from the sea by the Carrick just a little bit there. It'd be interesting to watch a yellow pink water battle. Could be a little bit of fun maybe later on in the game. Okay, the Abbasid pushing forward. The, uh, the Delhi Sultanate looking to be in a bit of trouble right now as those camels, uh, of course, providing buffs to the infantry around them. You can see there uh, the camel support infantry gain armor when nearby a camel unit. He's got Springles. He's got... Uh, he doesn't have a ton of siege, though. Where's the siege? He's been making rams, I think, as a siege. Yeah, he's got some, some mangonels. He does one bar one barbard, so that'll, be, that'll do it. And I don't know. Morocco might be in trouble as Teal is looking very strong. Yellow continuing to fight with the French. So the French uh, holding on, uh, I guess facing raids, it looks like, inside his base. Looks like the Knights, a huge night battle has happened there. And now Limino's heading into that food line of Orange. How many resources does uh, Orange have? Orange is super poor. Look at his food. Look at his gold. And he's up against Yellow, who has one of the biggest economies in the game. He might just be outlasting. And you think of those those sieges you see, and that's exactly what happens as right now Dreadloose taps out at about the 40-minute mark. F's in chat. Pay your respects.
congrats to Dradloos, who has been eliminated from Monday Night Mediterranean Madness. Thank you so much for playing Dradloos. And then there were one, two, three, four, five players remaining. Will Yellow turn and squeeze the Delhi Sultan, who's already under a siege from the opposite to the north? I have a feeling Delhi might be next to go, and Blue hasn't been looking amazing with this pink. Uh, advances. Look at this. The Bombard count, the Culverin. Uh, the HRE is only warming up. So if I were to see in the future, I think this is going to be a teal, yellow, and pink game. And perhaps, as we get to three players, will somebody consider a wonder? 2v, 2v1, less than desirable, but certainly is possible. Drake Luce was in a landmark, but that's not going to matter. He's already out of the game. Blue, though, continuing to hang on. Pinky has been hanging on despite uh, an intense fight with the Holy Roman Empire. Up to the north, Teal continuing to crush the Delhi Sultanate. Wonder if Yellow will turn around and attack Purple. I mean, it's his neighbor. It would make sense for him just to go after him next. Surprised he hasn't scout out in the water. You see the landmarks up for grabs. One, two, three landmarks here versus fourth. Did he build in the corner? He did not put it in the corner. Where is it? It's the, uh... I don't know where it is. It might be... It's usually... Oh, it's right there. Hiding right in front of her eyes. So, Landmark's gonna be trolled. But even bigger problem, he's losing all of his military production. Let's look at the resources right now. Purple doesn't have a ton of bank to spare here. Yellow has uh, quite a formidable amount. Victor could perhaps be the closest one to dropping down a one if he was able to shake off this blue neighbor to his west. Now, let's think what could change this up. Uh, if somehow Yellow decided to come down and attack Pink, thinking like, okay, I mean, for me, I'd be scared of HRE late game versus the Delhi, but Delhi are next door to him, so why would Yellow do that? But somebody could uh, perhaps do some kind of backstabbing uh, assault. Perhaps Yellow could bring a transport ship across the sea and try to take out one of his opponents versus taking out a, a weaker Delhi player that's next to him. But I'm not sure if Delhi is going to last for much longer. Update seems to be surging into his base. Abbas is looking very, very strong. Okay, so we've got uh, Pink down to the south. Just looking really, really good. Blue down here, though. Oh, look at this a little bit of cheeky raiding on the back line with the horse archers. Okay, up next going to be Coca-Cola Halftime Show brought to you by the Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Archers moving on in. Horsemen in trouble. Spearmen. Lots and lots of spearmen. Man, there's been so many dead bodies here. This is... Imagine if there was trench. If they could dig trenches or something in this game. That would be crazy. I guess at that point we'd be playing a different game. That one's called Command... Uh, what, what's it called? Company of Heroes. Yes, Relic's other flagship game. A new one of those coming out. I guess soon, this fall, I think. I'll probably check it out. I played the the previous Company of Heroes a little bit, but I never really got really into it. But I'll always check out new RTSs. You can count on that. But Age of Empires, of course, my first love. we got a bit of an open relationship. Sometimes we'll play Dune. Sometimes we'll play... Uh, you know, some of the other RTSs, but we always come on back. She's old faithful. Okay, update. Has lost that landmark, lost that landmark. Two remain. Town Center and the Doma Faith. Will he send out a word to his English neighbors? Help, help! Teal is crushing me! Whatever will you do, or will he be trapped here? Nobody coming in to save him. Perhaps the army of the dead will arrive via boat and land and wipe out the Teal army. Uh-huh, Lord of the Rings reference. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but right now, Purple is looking doomed. One landmark remains, the Dome of Faith, and I sure hope he's got faith in it because it's his last chance of staying alive in this game. Imagine if Blue just sniped the Abbasid landmark all of a sudden. That would be crazy, but Blue's got his own problems as the HRE is currently crushing his forward momentum. Although we've seen him in this state several times. Let's look at his bank there. Okay, Blue has stabilized his economy quite a bit. Lots of food in the bank. He's got gold. Villager's going to have to set a keep on the front line, but I'm not sure that's going to go so well. Let's watch as... Uh, uh, I think that's going to be it. Salute, men. He's fought bravely. He fought hard. 
He made an incursion to the south to his buried neighbor, but at the end of the day, the Abzid dynasty has eliminated Rocco Spinatore and the Delhi Sultanate from Monday Night Mediterranean Manis. And then there were four. Yellow playing as the English on this east side with that giant resources. Look at that. He's rich as rich can be. Down to the south with the HRE pro, uh, drawn out into a long fight against the Rus to the west. And then we have the Abbasid Dynasty just finishing off his neighbors to the north. Will he perhaps move on to fight the English? That might be a bit of a brave move, as I think the English at home on their home turf are more than prepared to deal with their puny Abbasid neighbors. Of course, he also has the fleet to deal with. We've got a Carrick here and a Carrick there. HRE uncontested on water. Kind of surprising. A few of these players have ignored the water. They forgot that it's Mediterranean madness. They are over here playing the pit or something. I don't know. Teal is, in fact, going to be pushing towards yellow. You hear the bells ringing. Warning bells of sound. Yellow knows this is war. <laughs> and I'm using trebuchets like uh, Manganel, like the English do. Camel's moving on up. But I don't know if Camel's going to be the great if he makes a bunch of longbows. But he's got lots of time to spare. He's been chilling. <laughs> I think the move right now, this is what I see happening. If I were to see the future, Victor is going to keep sieging Roos, eventually take Roos out and try to build a wonder. That's what I think is going to happen. Although right now, Pinky, he says, Fitzbro, who are you ruining here? Because I am holding, I got my Manganel and I am holding back the HRE despite having a smaller economy. Look at that, Pinky. He might be small in economy, but he is very, very, very big in heart. Going to push this back and forth. Now it's his play. He's like, okay, your turn to attack. You attack, I attack, you attack. Teal. Whoa. Whoa, we got a clean up on aisle five. Teal uh, devouring the English army there as he has bombards and mangonels on the back line to support it. Now, my biggest worry for Teal is where are his reinforcements? He needs to be... Uh, building a forward base or something to be reinforced because eventually yellow will hold but we say that as yellow is is building hand cannon here and i don't know if that's going to get the job done but look at that his reinforcements uh starting to take it down we got a knight to the back line he's going to lose all of the siege to those knights and, and kind of like what he mentioned the reinforcements they make the difference in these fights so teal overextended just a bit but maybe he wanted to lose this army i don't know but he has awoken a sleeping giant as yellow uh, will not forget this this betrayal as he will likely deploy the English armada and move across the field. We will see. But blue and pink appears to be intense fighting. I don't even know how many troops have died here. Can we look at the military score? We can. Okay, see, there's Victor. Victor has killed 677. Pinky has killed 770. So I would say I would want to be in Blue's army. The Rus army has been making excellent trades. The, grest, the greatest trades, some may say. The best. Pinky holding on. Pink says, okay, here we go. You attack now. Hold on, hold on. I'm not position. You attack. I got to set up. I got to set up. There we go. Should have made 50 towers. Yes, 50 towers. If Adi was in this game, we would have at least 50 towers by now. At the very least. Okay, so yellow. A little bit of peace time here for the English. Let's heal. A little bit of peace. The only war being here in the middle. And even for a, what, but the briefest of moment, we have a lull in the battle as Blue is going to charge back in. Gotta say, the, the greatest defender ward has gone to Pinky Doodle. He has just held on against an HRE onslaught. He doesn't have this crazy uh, gold production like the HRE has. You know, he needs to come down here and take... Oh, he did take that out. Did he snipe all the relics? Okay, he did. What relics does he have? One, two relics there. I, You know what? I think the HRE sniped his relics back, perhaps. I don't know if that's what happened. It might have been. One, two, three, four relics right there. I think he brought some of them home. Anyways. Blue and pink facing off. Uh-oh! What do we have here? This could be... Extremely bad news for Pinky. If Teal decides to squeeze them, this will be the blue, shades of blue, civil war. And I am not sure that Pinky will be able to withstand both the HRE and the Abbasid dynasty. But Yellow, probably kind of going to be the wild card here as he has the most space. Could he go for a wonder? Well, he certainly can. Let's look at these current resources. 
He just needs to stone. Okay, we've got to blue. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! We, we, what is going on here? We, I've kind of missed this incursion, but Blue is taking out HRE landmarks. And remember, one's already dead to the south. That would mean if that is down, there's two landmarks that remain. The Capital Town Center, and then where's his final one? His Aka Chapel, which is right there. But Trebuchet is being taken out by a horde of knights. He may have, might have made a little bit of progress, but not going to be able to get that right now. Okay, so all the trebuchets, unfortunately, going to be lost, but a bigger problem. Oh, oh, update has said enough is enough. Let the blue civil war begin as with the Abbasid forge on forward. Oh my gosh, Pinky thinking, what is this? What is my luck? I've been fighting HRE all game, and now you come in here and ruin this. And you might be saying, you know, this just isn't fair. What could he do? And in fact, Pinky knows there is no way in hell he's going to be able to take on two players. And just like that, F's in chat, respect Pinky Doodle. Have a good evening. You are the weakest link in Monday Night Mediterranean Madness. And remaining three players spread out equidistance around the map. We've got Update to the West playing as the Mighty Mighty Abbasid. We've got the English playing... In the northeast corner with a very compact English fortress. Well, these are Palisade Walls. I don't know if that's a fortress. And then I would say the likely favorite player of this evening, Victor, defending FFA champion. Have they watched previous FFA footage? Do they know that they need to team up and engage the HRE together? Or will they build a wonder alone and stand to fall? We will see. Rest in pinky, indeed. Okay, so a little bit of a law here. I think they need to decide their next move very, very carefully. Let's look at these next, uh, the resources. Illuminos sitting there with a massive bank of res, clearly the most. Um, Victor has the stone requisite for the that wonder, which I've seen Victor pull off wonder victories before, particularly in the corner. He is kind of set up here. He could build this down in the corner like this, or could build in his base. I don't know. Um, as far as the Abbasid goes, also working towards could build a wonder. He's going to need some additional stone. Now remember, for a wonder, ladies and gentlemen, 6,000 of each resource, and then it will take uh, a total of 15 minutes to win after you we complete that. And, oh, here we go. Our very first use of the Mediterranean has largely been ignored for most of the game. Update is coming on in with the Abbasid Armada. And Lum Luminos might not see this one coming, but I think he has the English fleet ready to meet him and open sea. Oh, and see that shining sea, Luminos. Uh, Lemonos is trading. He has a water trade going on and bringing back a lot of resources. 136 wood, 136 gold. But these aren't attack ships. These are transport ships transporting goods and services. But today it's going to be a servicing of kick-ass on the coastline of Lemonos as he's about to land. Let's see what's inside these. Now, I'm not seeing any siege. And it's going to be hard to really win a prolonged fight. I do not think this is going to work out for him. He might get a little bit of stuff here. Boom! The Abbasid fleet has landed. They have dropped a King's Landing, and now all the King's Palace and all the King's Men are trying to trade, train up to save the English once again. We'll see if they're able to, deleting the transport ships, I think, to save up some population as we've got some knights on the other side of the field. Of course, HRE waiting and lurking, and he might just be waiting for the enemies to eliminate each other. It could be something, although it looks like eh, he's not moving up to the north. Okay, the Abbasid uh, dealing some damage there to uh, that the production lines of the English. Look at that. The cam It's all camels and horsemen. Wow. Just going in there, sweeping through, trying to take out. Could he go for a landmark snipe? He could try to, but that's a lot of military production. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get that, but at the very least, this is quite the battle. Look at that. Camels charging on in against the English. This is the Abbasid Inquisition. Trebuchet's trying to get in on the fun, but they ain't going to do a whole lot here as it's kind of like the, the, the Zerg swarm. You've got Teal just coming out in here and gobbling up everything in sight. Unfortunately, sieging some farms right now, he probably wants to target the landmarks in. Uh, it's not far off. He could possibly go for a landmark snipe. Where are all of his landmarks? So we've got one there, two, three, 
four landmarks right there. So if he can take out the military production, stop the military production of yellow, he could pull this off with the great Abyssin snipe and a man, he was fat and happy thinking, I am good to go. He got a little greedy there with all those resources in the bank, but they do you no good as camels are burning down all of your property, starting to take out anything in sight. Look at this. He's making a hand cannon here, but hand cannoners are not going to be the answer to all of his horsemen. They're just going to charge forward and take them out. I'm not sure if Yellow is going to be able to hold this. Wow. What a massive landing. I did not really think this would do as much damage as what we've seen here. Teal looking super angry. Look at all these camels. I don't know exactly what he's targeting. Like, I think he could have honestly killed the landmarks, but it's like he really just wants to find the villagers. How many villagers does Yellow have? 92, and he does have this trade going on the water. I think in engaging that keep would be a huge mistake. Uh, Lemonos is low in gold, despite all his resources he had, because he trained up, like, a ton of knights. I think he should just, like, target down the landmarks, but he seems to be a little bit distracted by some of the military production, and I don't think he's going to kill those fast enough. He's got enough military production here on the east side. Um, and at the very least, he's putting some fear, uh, the fear of the opposite, into Lemonis and sending a very, very strong message. The opposite will not be trifled with from across the pond. And there we go. See those, those noble English knights coming in. But what is going on? We see negative numbers on their stats. Well, that would be the camel unease. These camel riders are the exact counter of knights. They deal bonus damage to cavalry. And not only that, they make the enemy cavalry deal 20% less damage. So a uh, great option to have. But Lemonos is able to reinforce, and he should have what he needs to hold off the marauding Abbasid dynasty. And... Uh, I don't know if this perhaps was an oversight by update. I think there might have been an opportunity for him to landmark snipe where he was perhaps focusing some of the military production. Luckily for Lemonos, he, his military production was deep. He had tons and tons and tons of buildings, and it looks like he has held off the invaders. Big hold there by Lemonos. Prep props to him. Let's see what is going on down here for update. So update. Just being defeated, uh, embarrassed at the embarrassment out at sea. They will write about this one in the history books. Uh, setting up some trade. He does have a lot of trade going on. Of course, average trade, better than your average trade. Pretty good. 113 gold, 28 wood coming back. Let's see what's going on for Victor. Victor saying, you know what? I'm not going to attack anyone. I don't want to take a risk of being 2v1. He's just chilling. Will there be another water landing is something I wonder. Honestly, surprising he hasn't at least scouted out because he could be killing the English trade right now. Okay, so a little bit of peace time. Lots of fish, though. Up for the grabs. Man, Mediterranean Madness is always just crazy. Look at these beautiful... I love the, the, the new way they've done water. It's just been great. Look at these beautiful ships out here. They, they look cool. What a classic map, Mediterranean. Victor is Thanos in game phase now. Yeah, soon he's going to... Where do we think Victor will build his wonder? Uh, we know he's going to do it. Come on. This ain't his first rodeo. Oh, and look who has all the resources for a wonder. Man, if he had some spies on the inside and knew what was going on with Teal and Yellow, uh, he could just slap that wonder down while they're fighting. But I've seen Victor build it too early before, and it's, it's, it's come back to bite him. So we'll see. You need more towers. Well, Victor is one person you don't have to tell that to because I saw him win one with Mongols with a bajillion towers on this very same map last Mediterranean Monday. Okay, we've got Lemonos. He's just realized, okay, I've got to build some precautions. He's walling in his wonders, trying to do something about this. Now, this is the point of the game. Me as a caster, I wish there was a circle and I could just squeeze the map and force the players to fight, but... You know, we have battles, we've got great wars, great economic uh, moments of uh, riches and uh, pros prosperity. And then there's just this, this wall, this peacefulness. This is peacetime. What are the Abbasid doing? He's built lots of keeps around his house of wisdom. I like that. Look at that. That's a hell of a look. Look at this. <laughs> that looks amazing. He's going to keep there. Clearly. Although, I feel like a bomber would just shoot around it and shoot that. Probably. Okay, so uh, right now, who will make the next strike? Oh, what is this? The Abbasid 
They're coming on out to play. Going to be sailing across the Mediterranean Sea. I do not think he's going to catch Lemonos off guard like he did that previous time. He's bringing spearmen, camel riders, I think horsemen, I think is what he has. Okay. Hold on, let me get trumpet. My tone sounds like shit. That's almost what it's like when you go out of town and don't play your trumpets for a few days and don't warm up and try to wing Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, update is moving out. Oh, oh, they're not even going to make it to see these poor troops run. Oh, what a great micro. He turned to the side and he survives. Wow. He's going to do it. Yeah, I thought Lemonus would have learned his lesson, but it appears he has not. And the Abyssinian Dynasty, once again, will be charging. They're moving on out, sending the transport ships back on home as he's going to move forward. But has he made a mistake? There are stone walls. What is this wonder alert? Wonder alert. We have a wonder. Look at that. The great palace of... Rensberg has been built in 15 minutes. He will be victorious as yellow and pink are just now fighting. What excellent timing. Victor, ex how does he know this battle to start raging on? He might have just taken his chances, I guess. Perhaps they are fighting in the chat or something and he knows it. Like, not this time. But either way, we've hit the one hour mark. If you're watching over on YouTube, give me a hello. Let me know you're out there. What a hell of a game. This is a lot of action here. We do this on Monday night. This is Monday night to Mediterranean Madness. Eight-player free-for-all community games over on twitch.tv slash fitzbro. Make sure you join us for one of them. You, too, can be involved and might make it onto the big screen. Lemonos. Uh, where did that Abbasid army go? Like, sorry, I was distracted by a wonder. Um, it appears it was deleted. <laughs> what the? It got absolutely either just de um, deleted. It was by a stone wall. I remember that much. Uh, I don't know if he, like, literally deleted it, or what happened, but, uh, you know what? He could have very well actually deleted it and said, oh, no, you don't. Um, I think that's maybe what he did, because he's heading south, and I see him deleting traitors. He's going for that wonder. And, okay, guys, we've got ourselves a ball game. What is going on here? Well, when you build a landmark, you can all but guarantee both players are a build of wonder. Both reigning players are going to target you, and that's what we see going right now. We see Teal moving down to the south. The question will be, will Yellow help him out, despite all of this, uh, these, these water landings that's been happening in his base? I see Yellow moving out on the water. Oh my gosh, the English fleet, look at that, moving on out the Carracks. And Victor has painted a target on his back. He's done this once before, can he hold? Wow, here comes Yellow with the fleet, Carrick on Carrick action. Fishing boats caught in the crossfire there, sinking down to Davy Jones' locker. Oh my gosh, Liminos moving on in. Pink. Uh, his fishing operation is seen better days as the yellow fleet is moving on in. Okay, so with losing water, does he have any demo ships got on the way? No demo ships, and he has not stonewalled there, so a great English landing could perhaps happen here on the coastline. Looks like yellow has the land invasion started. Lots of towers. You guys said it. You gotta have lots of towers to win a wonder. Well, there's his towers. Victor knows it. He's making bombard towers everywhere. Look at the current resources. Victor still has resources in the bank despite all of what's been going on. Teal's trying to advance, but he has no siege. Where is his siege? Slowly rolling down from the north. And at the same time, Victor has mounted a little bit of a raid. Horsemen over here going to start attacking Teal. I'm not sure it'll be enough. Uh, he's not going to snipe a landmark at least because there's three keeps around it. All right, right up here. 
Yeah, I think that would be very unlikely that to happen. Maybe that's what he thinks he'll get get going on. Maybe distract you a little bit. Yellow, though, is shelling the land, and just like that, Pink has had a dominant uh, water presence all game, has lost all of what he had on water. Look at the income per minute. Victor being a little bit poor right now, having just constructed a wonder, but he's doing okay. Those Carracks will take out anything that is on the, the coastline, though, so that's something to realize. Mediterranean Madness can always be brutal when the Carracks get involved, building crumbling. It crumbles and tumbles down to the ground. Carrick continuing to siege the HRE from the coastline. Look at them. They're trying to survive. Let's see if Teal's getting involved down here. Yellow and Pink have left each other... Uh, I'm sorry. Yellow and Teal have left each other alone. Here come the Bombards. Oh my gosh. How many Bombards does he have? It's a lot of Bombards. Uh... If I can double click. Four bombards. Okay. So he knows this is coming. Remember, 15 minutes he needs to hold this. Let's take a look at our Wonder Tracker sponsored by Geico. 10 minutes and 24 seconds to remain on this Wonder Tracker. Okay, well, I feel like we need, like, you know how, like, in NFL stadiums, they name the red zone? Like, there's typically someone, like, sponsored the sponsors the red, the red zone. And if they don't know, NFL football, the red zone's, like, the zone where you're about to score. I feel like we need that for, like, when you get close to the wonder, like, red zone. Like, they should, they should, we should have a corporate sponsor. The Skyline Chili Red Zone. That's what it is at the Bengals Stadium. The Cheez-It Red Zone? Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. Although I think it would need to be the orange zone if it was Cheez-Its. With Geico in 15 minutes or less, you too can win the game. <laughs> Sign up for Geico before this wonder quits, stops counting down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if any of you guys are a representative for, uh, for Geico, make sure you send them all these clips. <laughs> Okay, Victor, he has all the towers to the keep, to the keep, retreat. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like the Battle of Helm's Deep. He's broken through the first layer of walls, falling back to the keep. The archers trying to defend, but the bombards are pushing forward. The bombards might be able to tear through the camels and that infantry line of update. And if update loses all of his infantry, well, that siege, it will stand. No chance. He needs to be reinforcing, and he needs to kind of have a forward base, but look at this slowly walking in. That's not going to get the job done, and it looks like Victor will hold this fight. But on the other side, what do we have? Oh, 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 uh, remember what I said about putting a target on your back? Well, you can have your little wonder victory. Now, you know what I like? He's got a landmark in there with the wonder. Now, he has learned from previous mistakes. There was a game where he had a wonder, but he lost all... He got landmark sniped, which Yellow might think he's about to do. But he, in fact, has to make it all the way to the corner where that wonder is. I wonder if they could see the, that landmark next to it. They can't see it. Oh, my gosh. But Teal knows. Teal knows. Will Victor be the victor? Could very well be the case if these two cannot get it together. Eight minutes remain on the wonder. Yeah, where is Gandalf coming from at first light on the third day? I think this is Gandalf at the first light. Except for, for Pink, I don't know. Pink, there's, there's no, no, going to be no sunlight in this dark, dark night. He just needs to win this. Take out the relics, though. Uh, let's look at that uh, income per minute. That's going to do some damage to Victor. Uh, Victor has plenty of gold in the bank, though. I will say, if Victor does not win uh, this wonder... Uh, if that wonder goes down, I think this might be the end for him. I don't think he will recover for this. I think the players will finish him off as he already is missing all these landmarks. One landmark remains, and it's that one right here. It is in the corner, so very good plan city building. Teal being slaughtered by, it looks like a bunch of spearmen were in there. And of course, there's the camels causing the camel unease on all of these horsemen. That's something to consider. Bombard Tower continuing to put in, uh, do the work. Let's see the Wonder Tracker. He just needs to hold on for seven more minutes, but can he do it? I've seen him do crazier stuff. He still has a layer of stone walls. He still has some layers of towers. If he could keep the siege from coming, uh, you know, if Update doesn't build a forward base, he could stand a chance at this. 
Okay, yellow, uh, wreaking havoc though on his the eastern side. I don't think he has any uh, resources to spend to diverge yellow. So yellow's kind of just rolling through here, but he'll face some keeps and towers of his own as he reaches. Oh, actually, those are roost keeps. He won't face those. Victor, will he put this game away? I don't know. Update reaching into the skyline chili red zone. Cheese it red zone. <laughs> I just try to make it feel like a, a sports broadcast, you know. Victor's bringing those horsemen. Bombards have reached the inner wall. Uh-oh. This is the danger zone. That's one zone we know. we to the Palace of Schlinsberg. Huh? Top Gun, anyone? Top Gun? Where is that timer? It is right there. Five minutes and 54 seconds. I'll bring it back up as it gets close. But for now, uh, update trying to hold. We see the HRE villagers coming on in to repair. Not repairing yet, but he's going to. It looks like he will hold off this uh, this teal uh, pressure. I'm telling you, teal needs to bring some villagers down 10 minutes ago and build some forward base, even our, some ability forward workshops. What's yellow doing? I think Yellow thought he was going to snipe the landmarks and didn't realize there was one in the corner. But bringing those trebuchets forward, that's going to add some siege. And these are trebuchets. They can siege from a distance. And there's military protection down here for Pink. Man, if Pink holds this, it'll be uh, five minutes. That's a long time, guys. I mean, we got uh, at least three timeouts left for Victor. Uh, he might throw the ball out of bounds a few times here. He can buy himself what he needs. He's got these towers. Will Victor do it? Villagers rushing on forward. Getting desperate when the villagers are getting involved. But just trying to take out that Bombard. That's all he needs to do. Take out the Bombard. Because the rest won't be able to deal with the fact he's got the... Oh, he's got Cauldron! The Bombard goes down and he buys himself some more time. Four minutes and 39 seconds left right now. If he can kill the Siege, that's all he needs to do. Keep Horseman alive and snipe Siege. And look at this. He has Horseman. He sniped the Siege. And now he can run away. Let the towers and the walls do their work. Okay, Yellow has been building forward bases. Very smart for him. But right now, Victor is starting to take out those villagers. Going to do perhaps stop that. And that'll be a crucial play for him, in fact. Because uh, this reinforcing English forces could be a huge issue for him. Teal continuing to send troops into the, the, the meat shredder, the meat grinder. Horsemen running in. But we've got a lot of spearmen there to meet him. He needs to stop this. Oh, my gosh. Victor, the mad lad might have done it again. Three minutes and 59 seconds remain on that wonder. More important than the wonder, they can just kill the Regnus Cathedral, but do they both have the same amount of HP? They do. Funny. Can you repair these? No. Oh, let's look at the resources. Let's see the resources. Victor's got plenty. He's holding on. He is holding on. Teal. A little bit low on gold. Uh, looking at yellow. He's got plenty of everything. Okay, honestly, oh my gosh, he's still got, he's got scouts. He's going for the torch damage with the scouts. That's what he's doing. I think the scouts have torch damage still. I can't remember. I think they do. The spin that food, Victor trying to hold on. This is going to be a, a photo finish, that's for sure. Horseman moving forward. He needs siege. At some point, he might just move his cauldron right back to here. Oh my gosh. Building? Oh, I like the ram play. Oh, maybe. We'll see. I think he's low on gold. Wonder Tracker just gave us a ding ding. Under three minutes. This is the three minute warning. What does yellow have for reinforcements? We have some trebuchets, but trebuchets aren't particularly fast. And he needs to protect them. And look at this. Oh my gosh. He's got scouts. He's just going to charge them down. That's what he's going to do. He sees them. He has all the line of sight in the world. Let's see what Victor can see. Okay, so he knows those are there. The scout's just trying to disrupt things. I think he's going to charge up to those trebuchets there in a minute. You can see that pink is building up too. I would say, guys, this might be the last push. Two minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, if they don't make it now, when will they? Yellow, though, uh, the knights have made a lot of progress towards the front. But there's still towers and stone walls in the way. Oh no, here come those trebuchets. We hear the ding ding, two minutes till victory. This is the time. Teal and yellow need to push. Teal is sitting back right now. 
Victor is just cross his fingers. They take your time. And people underestimate how long it takes to siege through buildings. A minute and 45. This is going to be an absolute nail biter. I will leave that wonder tracker on now that we get to the end of this game. A minute 39. Oh, there he goes. The scout's on the back. They're going to go after those trebuchets. I think he thought they still did do torch damage, but they do not. Um, but I think they still do. Did they do bonus damage versus siege? Plus 10 versus siege. But he's still taking out some trebuchets. Here comes Teal with one minute to remain. Will he be able to break through that HRE line to take off the final Wonder Ord landmark? We will see. No siege, though. Few rams coming through. If he can just secure some space, he might be able to do it. The one minute that ding, ding, ding. It is taking place. One minute warning. Victor trying to hold on. It doesn't look like the English will be making it through from the north side. They do stand, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It'll be up to these rams and how fast they can move. Rams did get some additional range. These villagers could be pulled and kill the rams, though. Something you could consider. It looks like he's winning on the front line. This is going to be a nail-biter, guys. That could get in range and might be able to do it fast enough. He takes down the wonder. They have bonus damage. Pushing forward. 29 seconds to go. The villagers are pulled. Update. Moving forward, the Rams are going to get in position on that wonder. He could try to repair it, though. Does he kill the rams or does he repair the wonder? The timer's continuing to count down, trying to take this out. 14 seconds to remain. Landmark at half health already. Yellow swarming at the same time. Nine seconds to go. Will it be fast enough? Four seconds to go. Will Victor get this? And a moment. He didn't get it. He didn't get the. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That had to be at the one second mark. Holy shit. Somebody please clip that. Wow. Oh my gosh. I, beyond, Victor has surrendered at the 1 minute and 16 second mark. I think he was down to 1 second and he wasn't able to get it done. Epson chat. Huge salute to Victor. Putting on a hell of a defense and he might have won our last monday night mediterranean madness but tonight victor will be eliminated from monday night mediterranean madness leaving two more contestants update and luminous man i think i about blew my voice out there holy cow holy cow yellow's riding to the north as he now sees his new target the abyssin dynasty Victor is definitely the winner in our hearts. <laughs> uh, you know what I need? Uh, Might lad, thank you so much for the prime sub. I would love if somebody who is dedicated to video editing could make like a highlight reel from these free for alls. It would be so amazing. Like imagine a highlight reel of like the most hype moments from like the last uh, last few free for alls. Oh my gosh, okay, clips in the chat. We'll check that out later. Do me a favor and put in the Discord clip section so I don't lose it because we got more uh, more football left to be played here, guys. Uh, I think there's plenty more. We got Zebex out at sea right now. Update is annihilating Luminous' trade, but something to consider, guys. Yellow has had this trade going for a long time. Look at this. Uh, 60k food. 30k wood, over 13k gold. It, he could go for a wonder himself. And in fact, now if it's 1v1, uh, he very much it could do that. Actually, yellow might, or teal might go for a wonder. It's looking like, oh, I guess I'm trading right now. I think he's going for a wonder. Is he? Is he going to do it? Uh, it's, it's going on. The wonder race is on. The wonder race is on. Will Where will it be built and who will get it first will be the question. Man, we definitely need a sideline reporter to uh, get Victor's take on the that post-game report. Pinky Doodle is still leading in gold. Is that what is what what'd you said? <laughs> Pinky Goat Doodle has 9k gold. There you go, Pinky Doodle. I really like the use of these Zebex to take out the trade, but I, I he could have done this so much earlier. I don't know why. Honestly, the most surprising thing about this game is how much water has been ignored. 
I think yellow, I think Luminous thinks he can make a landmark snipe, but he's got enough keeps. He's got Spearman. I don't think that's going to work this time around, but he could certainly deal a ton of damage out here. We hear lots of trades going on. I'm telling you, they're getting ready to build a wonder. Lemonos is trading. Lemonos is trading. Update doesn't have what he needs for the wonder yet. I don't think he's building one. I have to keep scanning because they could at any minute plop one down. I think I would just put it like right here. Maybe here. Delete some around this. Build a stone wall. Lemonos is out of food. Wait, did he just build a wonder? Every time I see that, the, the resources drop. That's what I assume. But lots of camels right now, I think is what's going on. Yeah, Lemonos is going to get a wonder up. I don't know. If Lemonos gets a wonder online, it's going to be extremely hard for Update to cross the sea and take out a wonder. But it could happen. Abbasid, very, very good civilization. Look at him continuing to sell that food. He's trying to get what he needs for that wonder. He almost has it. Losing, though. Uh, one thing to, to, to account for, he'll build that wonder, but he's traded a lot of his bank to do it. So when he does do that, that will leave him... Uh, Lemonos is building a wonder right now. Where's he building it? He's going to build it in his base? Yes, he is. Okay, there we go. Cathedral St. Thomas going up right now. And update has not matched it, so he will get this wonder up. Now, the update could go for the sacred site, but this is kind of... Both of them have it in, in each other's pocket. This could be about as equal as it could be as far as these two sides. You, in fact, you could say update has more land mass, if anything. Okay, so Lemonos is going to be building that wonder. Update's not going to be able to match it. Out of gold, though. Lemonos has just spent a lot of gold, but they're English. They can just extract gold out of the ground from their farms. Thank you so much for that follow TF ranked. This has been the hype. I gotta say, that wonder countdown there in the corner is probably like one of the most hype moments I've witnessed in all of Age of Empires history. A wonder has been built. That means in 15 minutes from now, Lemonos will be the victor. No, Vic Victor was not the victor. Lemonos might be the victor. But update. He's done the ram dance once, once before. Now, update needs to learn one thing. You need to build forward bases to win prolonged ba uh, military campaigns that are across the map. Right now, he's still walking all his troops from home, and that's not going to get the job done. As he can have a good force, he can win a fight, he can win a few fights, but the English will reinforce, and this won't be enough. That's going to be the biggest problem. Now, one thing I will say about Lemnos' base. He doesn't have very well defended. He's got palisade walls. He might even have wall... I, actually... You can walk inside of his base right now. Look at this. He could walk right in. He has a stone wall back here. Around one of the landmarks. Um, where's his wonder? Uh, oh, that is his wonder. The key is the same time. It looks very similar to uh, the, the the king's palace. Maybe it does. And anyway, it looks like it looks like uh, it looks very similar to uh, the Abbey of Kings. Okay, he's building a, a forward keep. A forward keep. Now, I don't know if keeps is going to be what he needs here. I think he needs military production buildings because trebuchets are there. He can't take too long. The carrot going to attack anything that's close to the sea. Now, for Lemonos, this would be a good time to maybe, like, put a little push on Teal's base. Try to take some of the pressure off of yourself. Oh, my gosh. Now, I don't know. I talked about the reinforcements being needed, but one thing I'm going to say, this Abbasid army is extremely powerful, and Lemonos doesn't have anything. He has a few longbows. What is he thinking? He built a wonder, and he just expects update just to let it happen. I don't know. Moving in. Teal. Ready. To pounce. We've got three rams. A beautiful golden camel army. Okay. Moving on into the English base. Trebuchet is up for grabs. Longbows are there, but there's a front line of Cav, which will be happy to meet them. Now, one thing to note, the Camel Riders actually do not have great ranged armor as far as the Cav units go, but he should have the mass to take this. A Megano would be a lot better, but he should be able to take this. Moving on in, the reinforcements will be the real question that I wonder. Ah, uh, he's building a keep. What is this? Carrick's coming in, taking out what's on the sea, going to help shore up the shoreline. Can he hold with reinforcements on this advancing absent mass? We see a keep drop right now. 
He could just go for a landmark snipe. He could go for the landmarks. Forget the wonder. I want to finish this game off. And uh, I will say, Victor had a way better defense of his wander. Uh, update looking really strong. Lemonos kind of getting rolled right now. Building longbows, that's not going to be able to do enough uh, to stop this, this force as it pushes forward. Right now, losing one of his landmarks. There's a landmark there. One, two, three of the landmarks are here. This is the fourth one. And it also, oh my gosh, it doesn't have a ton of HP. He could perhaps go for a landmark snipe, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I think it'd be wise to do that. Although, Lemonos making some horsemen going to try to stop it. He might be able to outlast him just with his reinforcements. Uh, Longmos will just keep coming uh, if Update is not able to reinforce his army. So that's something to consider. Looking to break through that wall. Uh, hopefully he realizes that's the landmark and not the uh, wander. In fact, I would just send one, one ram in there and then send the rest down to the south, perhaps. But that thing's almost dead. Okay, but he's just going to take it out. Ram's getting extra range. Has helped with their mobility a lot. They used to be very derpy. Here we go. Down it goes. Going to take that landmark out. You say that as this, this ram is still kind of dancing around. Looks like he's about taking out that Winger Palace. It's on fire. And I don't know. He might have this. These three rams they're really showing us, guys, uh, that rams are the ticket to success in the free-for-all. The, the ram took down the wander at the very last second. Right now, taking down the English landmarks. But as this is happening, update is running out of reinforcements. This is the same blunder we saw before, but it will maybe it won't matter. Perhaps he can kill these in time. Where are Liminos's villagers? 66 villagers. He needs to pull everything right now and repair, repair, repair. And perhaps he can hold on. Looks like we have uh, three rams. One of them about to die to the longbows. Continuing to engage here. Horseman, I think he's going to be able to hold on this. We see those villagers repairing, and Lemonos going to hang on by the skin of his teeth. Just barely. Wow, impressive. Very impressive. Uh, but I would say this is due to a military failure of uh, Update. I think Update should have built a forward base. As we reach the 10-minute mark for that Wonder victory, at 136, this Wonder will be... Uh, we'll have completed its mission. But bringing... Oh, now hold on a second. He's wiped out the horseman. What's Elemenos' resources look like? He's got plenty. Not a ton of gold, but he's got plenty. Okay. Can he take out those... those uh, landmarks is the question. One ram remains. This is, could be, couldn't be any closer right now. There we go. Down to the last landmark. But we have every single longbow shooting out that ram. It is not going to be able to do it. Oh my gosh, he's so close. He really just needs to take everything he has and throw them on there. Oh my gosh, the horsemen engaging those longbows. But with that mass of longbows, they're able to quickly take them out. Horsemen going to be engaging on that... Oh my gosh. On that <laughs> last English landmark. Can update pull, uh, pull this victory off? I don't know. We got Trebuchet firing from afar. Here come more and more horsemen. The villagers are trying to repair the town, and he probably needs to repair the council hall right now. Imagine if there's even a bombard. He's building a, a mangonel on that front line. This is going to be extremely close. I think resources why well, they should be fine as far as that is concerned. Wonder why he's still got time. 8 minutes and 42 seconds. This is a good amount of time to have for the final landmark to kill. This, folks, is why you want to spread out your landmarks. He did at least build a wall around this one, but uh, you want to try to spread them out because it makes it really easy for a, a one quick push to go, go really rapidly. Oh my gosh, look at this! He's building a Robotoquin! Randy showing up to the front line! Boom! We're taking out the horseman. This thing has uh, 42 ranged armor. Or not 42 ranged armor, uh, 42 ranged damage. Fall burst attacks. Okay, so yellow holding on. Liminos. Excellent defense. But we've got trebuchets. Uh-oh, we do have trebuchets. And those trebuchets can siege from afar. Oh, my gosh. Boom! Huge Manganel shot. And this trebuchet could be his ticket to victory. He's wised up. He has finally built a forward base. And, oh, my gosh. Update. Repairing, but also going to be repairing the Winger Palace. He might be okay here. He's going to kind of be establishing the long game, the long siege here. This is certainly going to be a long siege, but uh, the English Trebuchets could start taking out his keeps. Let's keep, I keep checking in on the resources just to see what we got here. No one's doing fine for the most part. Wonder Tracker 
Just about seven minutes to go here. And oh my gosh, he taps out. He knew there was no chance to take it. And after an hour of intense eight-person free-for-all Mediterranean madness here on Monday, it looks like Update will be our victor as the noble Abbasid Dynasty. Let's take a look at those post-game stats. We got the village account. If someone has that clip from before, please drop it in chat because I want to watch that one more time because it was absolutely wild. There's those villager counts, but uh, most importantly, let's take a look at some of those scores there. Update. So when they really had what? Take that. Let's look at the, the long-term stats. I always love these economy-wise. Pinky Doodle actually had... Hold on. What? How did Pinko, Pinky have the... The best eco. He, he was eliminated. Uh, maybe he just did. <laughs> Pinky got a gold star for the best economy. Uh, down here, we got the military. We got Royal. Uh, killed 53 in its loss, 119. Update killed 2,000. Oh my gosh, 2,000 military units killed for Update. That's why he won this game. Killed 152 building and stopped that wonder. Really deserving of this win, that's for sure. Uh, we had that big fight between uh, Victor, of course, and Pinky Doodle. Lots of carnage there. Lots of units killed. Pinky actually trading very effectively in a lot of those fights. Update, uh, uh, wow, a very impressive stats. Luminos didn't really do a whole lot until basically the end of that game is when he got really... I guess he did take out the French early on, and then he, he made a really good push um, on the HRE's eastern uh, front. But uh, a well-played game for everyone involved. Let's roll that clip. Let's see the moment that Wonder went down because it was crazy. It's range. Okay, let's pull it up. Screen share. Let's watch this for the instant replay. Get some additional range. These villagers could be pulled and kill the Rams, though. Something you could consider. It looks like he's winning on the I don't know why it looks like it's potato resolution. That might just be... How this stuff oh Fine. yeah okay, this is gonna be a nail biter guys that could get in range and might be able to do it fast enough he takes down the wonder they have bonus damage pushing forward 29 seconds to go the villagers are pulled update moving forward the rams are gonna get in position on that wonder he could try to repair it though does he kill the rams or does he repair the wonder the timer's continuing to count down, trying to take this out. 14 oh seconds to gosh, remain. This is crazy. Landmark at half health already. Yellow swarming at the same time. Nine seconds to go. Will it be fast enough? Four seconds to go. Will Victor I thought he get had this? it. At a moment. He didn't get it. He didn't get the. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. That had to be at the one second mark. Holy shit. Somebody please clip that. Wow. Oh. That it's was wild. Range. I can't He's believe that. I can't believe that. As far as YouTube goes, if you made it this far in the video, we're an hour and 30 in. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you thought about that gameplay. If you had any ideas for other crazy. And of course, hopefully you join us for one of our future community free-for-all games. Twitch, make sure you go over and you sub on YouTube too. I'll see you guys in the next one.